Okay, guys, we're ready to start. Thank you for uh, all going to Volunteer Desk before coming here. Thanks a lot. And I won't spend any more words. I give the presentation to uh, Daniel and Simon, who will tell us why all your packets are theirs. So, hello, can everybody hear me? Okay, nice. Hi. So, um, we will gonna tell you something about um, backbone technologies and how to attack them. So, first of all, um, my name is Daniel, that is Simon. Hi. And we are some kind of old school network geeks. Um, we fiddle around a little bit with protocol stuff and try to break things. Um, we are working for a Germany based security company called ERW. And yeah, what should I say? We have fun with uh, breaking Cisco's. Okay, let's have a little look at the agenda. Um, first of this, we will give a short introduction into the dimension of this talk, what we will talk about and what we will talk not about. Um, after that, we will take a look on some backbone technologies. The um, first and biggest one is um, BGP which is used for uh, internet scale routing and some other kind, which brings us directly to the next technology, MPLS, um, which is mainly used for forwarding packages in provider backbone networks. Um, another technology is the carrier ethernet. This is an upcoming boom technology, which uh, is very often sold by some service provider um, nowadays. And after that, we will have some summary and outlook, and especially we will um, hold a workshop after the talk, the rest for the day, but we'll see in the end. Okay, um, first of all, what this talk is, um, we just want to reflect in a way the technologies work. Um, we will not discuss some new, I don't know, buffer overflow or some really uh, new technical hack. Um, if you consider some esoteric shit, please start throwing things on us. Um, this will wake us up. Okay, uh, we won't have you to have a meal of laughter, Aether. Um, we included some bingo stuff into, but you will see on the next slide. And in the end, we want just to entertain you. That's why we brought a lab here, and we'll demonstrate some live demos on how these technologies will break. Okay, we included some kind of meat sections into the slides. So, um, okay, you pro probably know Bullshit Bingo from uh, crypto.com. This, it's, it's very funny. Um, you can uh, shovel a little bit and then you will get um, the security problem, excuse Bingo and Every time you talk to some guy in your company about security problems in the, um, in the technical area, and he answers with one of these answers, you can just make a cross, and in the end, you surely will have a bingo. Okay, so um, the first part of this talk is handled about uh, BGP, the Border Gateway Protocol. It's, um, this is a really old protocol, but the uh, Time by time, they get some new RFC out. The um, most current RFC is the 4271. It's from January 2006. Um, this is for BGP4. Um, BGP itself is kind of the glue that keeps the internet together. Uh, you know, the internet is based on three things. It's BGP, DNS, and coffee. So um, this is one main part which enable you to uh, route packet through your internet. <coughs> um, we put BGP because BGP has a really interesting trust model, and this is some uh, trust touch talk. So we don't want to bore you with all the trust discussions. We will show some cool demos, but in the end, it all depends on trust. And BGP is a routing protocol that's, that has a um, uh, special trust model, and we will see. Okay, and BGP was kind of some heavy debates in the last years. So maybe you remember the one other thing. We will come back on that. So um, first, how BGP works. Um, BGP is not an um, auto-detectable 
routing protocol, but you have to um, define some peers or um, you have to establish relationships with your neighbors. This is done by configuration. Um, BGP works or relies on TCP. It, it relies on TCP because um, you will see there are some security mechanisms, but they are not directly implemented into BGP, but they are um, moved out to TCP. Okay, so BGP won't use multicast. BGP will speak unicast to the configured peers and establish a BGP session with that peers and uh, exchange routing information. So because it's TCP based, um, it's not easy to spoof. There are some ways to take over TCP sessions and stuff like that, but um, uh, it's, it's not that easy because it's TCP based. Okay, that's um, some main technical points. Um, internally, BGP announced something called N uh, NLRI, or Network Layer Reachability Information, which is the information, okay, uh, neighbor, hello, um, I knew some new network, and I got a route to this. Okay, um, on the other hand, there are some additional attributes which are defined in uh, a lot of RFCs, um, probably, especially if you speak multi-protocol BGP, there are some really big attributes um, so which are used for building the path calculation. Okay, I said BGP has an interesting trust model. This is because BGP um, don't use an auto-discover mechanism, but based on um, uh, manually configuration, which means it's, it's got something called intra-operator trust, which means it, um, the trust of BGP is based on the configuration of your administrator. And your administrator is a human, and you know all humans are making mistakes. Okay, there are some examples. Maybe one remember the AS707 incident, or there was two years ago something with YouTube in Pakistan where uh, a configuration mistake in the global BGP routing um, infrastructure just leads that um, YouTube wasn't available for some hours. So actually Pakistan announced uh, the prefix of um, YouTube with a smaller uh, subnet or prefix um, so the, and routed it to a black hole because they wanted to, um, to not allow the connection to YouTube from Pakistan anymore because um, some illegal content from Pakistan uh, with, uh, was hosted there so they didn't want to reach their people uh, YouTube anymore.